So I'm over here with Stefan. I saw his artwork here and I love this Naruto stuff. It's very, very clean. And so I have a few questions. The sure. first one I want to know is why did you start creating art? Why? Yeah. Um, it, was, it was, you know what? It's funny to say that because all it took was for my favorite artist to be drawn the wrong way for a comic book, like an X-Men. Somebody did Wolverine wrong and I got upset as a kid. Mm -hmm. Went to my mother's table, grabbed the, the line paper, number two pencil, and I drew him the way that I wanted him done. And from mm -hmm. there, I just kept going. But I'm what gave user. you that eye to see that it was wrong? That's a good question. I guess from my passion for the X-Men, Wolverine, Spider-Man, so forth, mm -hmm. it's kind of like certain people draw it the way that I was introduced to it that I thought was correct, and then they get other artists to do it, and I didn't like the way they did it. Okay. So I challenged that Okay. by changing the form of, you know, to, to do it the way that I want. Okay. More detail, more color, more fangs, more claws. Add your flavor into yes. it. Yes. That's nice. Yes. How did you get started into it and, and consistently? Um, I, again, it, it goes back to comic books and Saturday morning cartoons. Mm -hmm. um, having the passion for it, wanting to be involved directly. Mm -hmm. um, the only way that, that I figured I could make a contribution is to actually sit down and draw some of my favorite characters. And I just kept at it. Mm -hmm. And then I had a friend that introduced me to color pencils, um, art teachers. Okay. Art teachers in school too as well, I'm sorry. Okay. That's a very good question that you asked, but I got a lot of influence at an early age from art teachers. Right. And, Comics and, and art teachers? Yes. Okay. Yes, absolutely. Easy. As an artist, what do you want to be known for? Some of, some of the people I look up to right now today are um, legends in Europe and here in the United States for a bracket called Hyper Real. So that's photorealistic. Mm -hmm. And, and me, that's what you do? That's what I do. Okay. And I'm still not even at the level that I want to be at. But, and again, it's education and communication. Mm -hmm. That's what does it for me. So I just keep pushing myself. Okay. Every time I create a masterpiece, I'll challenge myself the next piece to do it better than my last one. Easy. And then the last question. Sure. What made you decide to create this type of artwork specifically? Is this like is this your main focus, this style? Yes, it is. Okay. It's more of a photo reel, or in Europe they call it hyper reel. Hyper, okay. But for me, the, and that's a, it's a human element to it too, because artwork is the one thing that will bring people together mm -hmm. without focusing on things that separate us. So in that case, okay. you yeah. may like this character, he may like that character, and I may like another, but I can bring them all together, and then we all sit at the table and either point and talk, and then dialogue. That's easy. Thank you so much, <laughs> man. You, I do appreciate you. it. No, I appreciate it as well yeah. that you chose me. Of course. I was shocked when I saw this. I was like, that's super clean, because I don't see this style, style. actually, and, and so I'm and, glad you told me what it was. And forgive me, I don't know if you guys want this to be a part of the um, Please. interview, but I'll say this. I didn't see too many minorities on the gallery side. So mm -hmm. I really, that challenged me too. I wanted While to be, growing up or applying here to um, be? No, growing up. Okay. Growing up, walking through art galleries, you hear about all of the greats and they come from like Italy, France, and so forth. But I didn't see too many mi minorities, Cuba, Puerto Rico, so forth. Not that they mm -hmm. don't exist, but here in the United States, I didn't see a large influence yeah. on minority base. So I wanted to contribute. So I'm like, okay, I can be just as good as Van Gogh. Mm -hmm. You know, all I need is that shot. Yeah. And that's another part of the motivation, if that helps. That's easy, man. You know? That's so part you of your why. Yes, yes. So that's what drives really you. That's awesome. Questions. Really great questions. Keep it up, man. Thank I wish you. you the best. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much for choosing me. You're welcome. You're welcome. You. Where are you? We're at Artist Alley. <laughs> at Artist Alley.